Hey guys, welcome to day 87 of my carnivore journey. Holy crap, right? Uh, we're getting down to the wire. But I just want to say thank you all for the love and the support and the comments. Seriously, um, I am going to also spend some time answering some questions on day 90. So what I've got planned for day 90 is going to be, I am decided that I'm going to do a live event. It's probably going to be around this time, um, like 8 to 9 time frame Eastern. Um, so whatever time zone you're in, if you want to plan accordingly, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified. Um, but I am going to be covering uh, a little bit of everything, and I'm going to try to also get through some common questions or things that are brought up. Also, if we're live and you guys want to ask me something or whatever, just like last time I did, I think I did my last live event. What was it? Day 60, I think. Um, and, and we had a good little turnout. Um, a lot of you showed up and was just dropping in some, some great comments and some questions. We, you guys will even learn some more about my personal life. I opened up a little bit about that, but that's going to be Saturday. Saturday is, I'm glad my day 90 falls on a Saturday. So I still got the original date on the board. November 27th, 2023 was the day I started Carnivore. So uh, obviously coming up on Saturday is going to be 90 days. Um, and so I'm doing my best to hang in there. And, and I don't feel like there's any threat of falling off the wagon. Right now, it's just more of sharing with you guys my daily, either my ideas thoughts, what I ate, those type of things. So what did I eat today? Well, I had two hard boiled eggs. Um, surprise. <laughs> but no, I had two hard boiled eggs. And I'll be honest with you, today um, I was getting pretty hungry around one. Um, but I was kind of in a position where it was like normally if I had a moment, I probably would have ate the eggs. But I was in a position where I was kind of working and I'm like, and I actually was like, you know, I really do want to eat a little early today. Um, but instead, I think I ate about 2.15, almost like normal time. But by the time I got done with, with uh, the job that I was on, I was like, all right, I'm going to eat these. I'm going to finally get to my eggs. <laughs> so super happy about the eggs. Love, I love that as a snack. I look forward to them every day. I, I'm surprised, but I love it. Um, and then tonight for dinner, did I get a picture? Yes, I got a picture right here. So I had McDonald's, um, and I did the thing. So for those of you that may not know, you can go to McDonald's, tell them you want to order from the a la carte menu and you want three quarter pound patties, just the, the burgers. Uh, and and just they'll usually put it in in a tray for you as you guys seen in the picture. So uh, yeah, and they're like two bucks a piece. So very affordable. Took them home. I had them with some hot sauce because um, I was in a kind of a hot sauce uh, mood tonight. But yeah, a little spicy. So um, ate a lot of. Uh, but I had. I just kept. Every bite, I just kept dipping in the hot sauce this time. Sometimes, like, I'll have some hot sauce. I'll just a little bit. And then some days, it's like, I just got to have it. And and tonight was one of those days. And then I got done with the three-quarter pounders, or three-quarter pound of, of meat. Uh, the three, yeah, the three-quarter pounders. I got done with those. And I didn't feel full yet. So I went and uh, warmed up, like, four pieces of bacon in the microwave, and I had three slices of cheese. They were from like an eight ounce block. Um, I would guesstimate that that they probably were an ounce, ounce to two ounces at, at most. Just three small slices of cheese, four pieces of bacon. So I sat there and, and, and snacked on them while I was talking to my son. And when I got done with there, I was I was done. So I was just like, oh, I'm good. I don't need it. I don't feel like eating anymore. Um, so that's what I had today. Um, today was a overall fairly solid feeling day, um, somewhat energetic. And I want to also give a shout out to Rick Van Man. I, I miss Rick. 
Um, a lot of you know Rick, um, and maybe some of you don't know, but if you go to YouTube, uh, type in Rick Van Man. All right. Uh, he's my my uh, fellow uh, journeyman. Like he was um, on the same journey, the carnivore journey, uh, up until just recently. And he had this sort of, I wouldn't say he stopped the journey. I think he's still continuing on. But he's not focused on daily vlogging, and he's kind of had to to redo some things because of his gallbladder um, issues, which he's you know he's getting all that sorted out, and and he so he is filming some additional content. Um, he still is doing some things now. Rick, you're watching me. Oh, I love you. Don't want to see you washing plants. I don't want to see you doing dishes, cleaning the stove. Yes, I said washing plants, okay, because he was washing the dust off of plants or wiping the dust off of plants. All right, I love you, my friend, but I got to see some fun. The video he posted today where he went on a trip and he went and visited like Ian Fleming's grave. Um, I don't want to spoil it any more than that, but it like that's the content. It was cool. Like I enjoyed all that. Like that was a good video. I loved it. And that's what I want to see. Rick doing because you got to remember Rick is sort of in the middle of some things right now and just trying to figure out what what to do and 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 he likes to share his life and and, and I love that so um, but guys go over and give him a visit I think you'll really like some of the fun things if you don't know his channel go over to his channel check him out um, seriously he's he's got um, now he's getting some some more fun videos again uh, <laughs> so. Uh, I got to pick on him. I got to give him a little bit of a hard time sometimes because I love his content. And then when he was like doing the tinker around the house stuff, I'm like, come on, man, I don't want ASMR. <laughs> Anyways, um, I keep getting on about gaming too. I'm like, I want to see you doing some gaming because he teased that a few times because he, he know he games. He plays some games. I want to see some. Rick. All right. But anyways, guys, uh, but the carnivore stuff, Guys, everything is going good. There's not much to report. I don't really have a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, oh, uh, there is one thing. I did I did get a little bit of a comment about the recipe for the gravy. Um, and it, it just depends on the gravy. Like, I do multiple gravies, to be honest with you. And... It just depends on what you want to do, but you can do a simple gravy sauce with just butter, milk, and some some uh, beef bouillon. Is beef bouillon the healthiest? Um, is it perfect? No. There is some decent beef bouillon out there. You can make it yourself, but to make beef bouillon yourself requires a lot of time, a dehydrator. You can you have to do a lot of reduction. And once you reduce it down to almost like a syrup, you spread it and then you dehydrate it into a powder and, and you can have some amazing beef uh, powder or you can, you can suck it up and you can buy it at the store and realize that you're going to ingest a few small uh, amounts of ingredients that may not be ideal for your carnivore diet, but it's okay when you have it occasionally. I don't have... I don't use beef bouillon all the time, um, but I will use it along with like a heavy cream. If you if you don't overuse your heavy cream, in other words, you just have to start small. You have to like sort of medium to low cook your cream. Uh, of course, I start with a little bit of butter, a few, few tablespoons of butter, and then I add there. And then you just got to be careful. If you continue to kind of mix it, you don't want to walk away. And as you just kind of work it, and, it, and it, it'll slowly thicken up a little more, a little more. It's not going to get super thick, uh, but that's why you just got to be careful. But if you add some of that beef bouillon in there, you know, you're going to get that beef flavored. Uh, it's like a, it's going to be a basic, like a basic beef gravy. Um, so there's, there's just different ways you can do it, but that's one of the ways uh, to do it. But I try to share with you guys how I do some things if I can. Anyways, that's all I really got for you guys today. I mean, tomorrow's going to be day 88 uh, on Thursday, 
Friday's 89 and Saturday's 90. Easy. Um, but Friday, Saturday's going to be a big show. I'm going to try to. I mean, I don't know how long it'll be, but we're going to cover. I'm going to try to cover a lot of things between whatever you guys bring up during the live stream, uh, whatever questions I can think of that you guys have been answering or asking me that maybe I haven't answered. Um, any questions today, if you want to pop them in the comments, um, pop them in the comments. But I've got some data that I'm working on. I'm going to be doing official like Saturday. I'm going to be officially weighing in. I'm going to take a video of it, um, you know, and I'm going to start gathering the, the data to where when we do the live, I'll be able to share whatever I can with you guys. I'm going to try to share as much as I can. There's not a ton of sh to share, but I'm I'm kind of excited to kind of look at the the 11 year history of of uh, weigh-ins. I think that'll be fun to break down with you guys. Anyways, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.